is Tahira Monique Brown and Nikita Clark with another Tahira Tahira Isms. And today my speech is called Trusting in the Power of Prayer and Faith. A few days ago, which was Monday, I was supposed to take Nikita Clark to the doctor for surgery and we were stuck because of a flood. <laughs> it was flooding on Highway 280 and Lakeshore Drive and everywhere else. We had no idea how bad it was until we tried to go back another way. We had a premonition to turn around going towards Lakeshore. And as we turned around on Lakeshore, we realized that no one was going the way we were thinking about going. <laughs> so we had to make a turn around and try another way. But one of the things I asked Nikita to do one time when we was coming through a bad flood was to pray because um, that was all that was left to us was to pray because we, did, we couldn't turn around. Now we were in the water. There was no way to turn around. But this big truck came through the water being chased by a police officer. And when that truck went through the water, it practically pulled my car through over to the other side. And that was one of the times we needed to pray because otherwise I would have been like many of the other cars floating in the flood. Uh, so, you know, God sent a truck. You never know how God's going to send help your way. So he sent a truck my way. Uh, and then we uh, made it on the other side of that, tried other back roads. Yeah. But the street that I was going to take, it already started looking bad. It started looking bad. So I told her to turn around. <laughs> so she told me to turn around. Of course, I'm repeating everything she's saying. Um, but, you know, the reason I'm calling this trusting in the power of prayer and then trusting in that power and then using faith to go through a horrible situation like what we were facing and trusting God that he would protect us because this was like 3 o'clock in the morning. It was absolutely dark. Lots of lights were out. Uh, lights had went out in my neighborhood. I was up hoping to get lights on. My daughter had overslept, so now we were rushing to go. Uh, it was stalling outside. They was giving warnings for tornadoes, but still my daughter needed to have this surgery, and we saw, uh, I saw it was necessary to get her there. And, and a try, at least try to get there. Uh, because this has been put off months and months and months, and she's been very, very, very sick over and over again. And I just really wanted to see my daughter go through this, have the surgery, and get better so she can have a full life. Uh, but God said no at that point, so we decided to go another way. So I had another way in mind. There's this uh, street going up 31 that would take you up a hill, which would be on the back side of the hospital where they have some doctor's offices at of Brookwood Hospital, so I thought, well, I would go that way. My daughter used to work over that way, so I figured, let me go that way, then I can go up this back hill. I hated this hill. I never would go up at any other time. I hated it. I always worried about mudslides and this, and guess what? Something told me no, <laughs> and so we came back another way, and it just so happens that it was a good thing that we didn't go because guess what? There was a mudslide right there at that street that I would have taken up toward the back side of the hospital. So we were on this adventure. <laughs> As usual. As usual, the Tahir Monique Brown and Nikita Clark adventure. We was on this adventure trying to uh, find a course to get to this hospital. So we ended back up on Toledo on the opposite side that the truck had pulled me through. And we decided to turn, I decided to turn off. I said, oh my goodness, we're right here at Brookwood. I knew there was a little creek there. But now when I made that turn off, it was a lake. And the water was up to the side of my car. And I was telling my daughter, we are, I said, start praying. Because this water could have swept me off. And she couldn't see how high the water was. But I could feel the water on the side of my car. And so my car tires were just gripping the road. I said, whatever is gripping, my tires is gripping something. And so we made across that deep water over to a light, and I just hit the gas. When I hit the gas, the only way to go was straight because to the left was the, was the, the river was rising. Uh, now the lake was now, the creek <laughs> was now a river. It was rising fast, and so we made it up the, the, the top of this mountain that I usually wouldn't go because it was always so steep. <laughs> I, had to, I had to go past my fear, so I went up this steep 
incline, which the uh, office building sat to the right and the church sat to the left. And we made the left into the church parking lot, thinking that, well, maybe we go to the church parking lot. Maybe there's a way around the church on the opposite side where that would be past the flood. But guess what? The church was fenced off, uh, uh, gated up, and they had big cement walls built around the church where you could not leave the church ground once you was on it except to go back the way I came in, which I was not going to do. But there was a little drop-off that I was able to walk to the edge of and be able to show people by my video camera as best I could at 3 o'clock in the morning how the lake was rising and other cars that were sitting in the body of that water. It was unbelievable because this is a way we have taken many, many times before. Never uh, had it, had been through anything like this. We're trying to call the hospital to let them know how bad it is. We're stuck at the, ho- at, at the church. We are, I'm texting. Technically, we was in walking distance of the church. <laughs> I mean, of the hospital. Oh, so we could have walked. Yeah, no, we couldn't. No, we, we, was, couldn't, we, we couldn't swim. Right. We would have had to swim. Um, and I, I was joking because my um, oldest daughter is four foot nine. <laughs> so, Centimeters. She don't say four nine. I say four six. She's gonna say four ten, but she's not quite quite there yet. And um, if she stand up really straight, she might reach four ten. So I was I was joking, saying that the water was my daughter's height. <laughs> the water, the river that's normally on the road that we used to go through by Sanford University was my daughter's height when we first got there. Right, we past, way past that later because it was real past the sign. You know, the top of the sign, mm-hmm. the stop sign. It was like one stop sign was out the water. There was cars underwater where the stop sign was underwater. The sign by the church, it was coming up to the sign where the church was on the hill. And so that can give you an idea that it was really getting really, really steep. So, you know, Layla don't even touch the top of a car. So, you know, the car was underwater. That was taller than Layla. Well, yeah. <laughs> it, 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 was, it was amazing. I thought about Hurricane Katrina. I thought about a lot of these flood situations, but I'd never seen a flash flood before. I'd never seen water rise up out of the it was funny how it was coming up like uh what you like call, what did you call it? Look like little geysers. Like, Look like little geysers was all in the road and she was nervous about maybe we was going to a, a sinkhole, but that truck when well, that truck pulled me through all of those little geysers that was coming up, those things probably would have held my car in place. I didn't want to I didn't want to try to figure any of that out. But I didn't have time to figure it out. Remember when the truck came through, it literally just pulled my car through. Over to the other side. So, you know, we prayed. We managed to find ourselves in a safe situation. And thank God we was at a church. Um, and I think I was more upset that uh, I hadn't put on any makeup. Because I'm thinking it's 3 o'clock in the morning. You know, I'm, 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 you know, I'm related to Tahir. I'm still a diva. Uh, I didn't have my hair on. I didn't have my makeup on. I'm thinking maybe my pajamas. I'm thinking I'm going to go to the first I mean, uh, I just I'm said, pretty. no hair, no face, no hair. Yeah. Face. <laughs> She has teeth, but she didn't have to take out teeth. But <laughs> yeah, so I'm thinking, oh my God, don't let the, don't let the ambulance or people have to come rescue us because I'm not prepared, you know. <laughs> so I had to try to make light of the situation, but I know a lot of other people who didn't fare as well as we did. And, and I think a lot of it had to do that we relied on God throughout the situation. We knew that we would be okay. We knew that he got us to safe areas, but other people who choose not to listen to God did not fare as well. Um, so I just didn't listen. I just didn't listen to read because you know I was standing on the mountain looking at people uh, that was in SUVs, uh, still trying to go through this water, and I saw a Hummer that was out the water. So I'm like, why are these people still trying to? Because they see a Hummer ahead. Hello, the Hummer isn't moving. It is stuck. Uh, but you know, when it when it comes down to it, uh, practicing prayer, the power of prayer. When we prayed, we, when we were going down to 80, and I could see this. Because the, the road was flat. It's never flat in this particular area. And that truck ran through. And I saw how deep the water really was. And that truck, if it wasn't for God sending that truck, then it prevented me from turning right right there to it. If I would have turned right there, I would have been one of those cars stuck right at, uh, in front of Brookwood. But it pulled me through past my turn. And my husband called. And Nikita says, well, we just passed where I get off the Brookwood. But Victor, please don't try to drive to go to, go to work. But, you know, uh, the, the, with, with many, many times in our lives, 
especially the kid in our, our lives. We've been in situations similar or situations where we've had to pray together uh, as children, when it was children, uh, and as well as this particular situation. And I was still in prayer for my special needs sister and her care and trying to get her back home and hopefully get her in a home here in Birmingham. That's been my prayer for months. And I know if you've been listening to To Hear Is To Hear Is, as I've mentioned that many times, and prayerfully that will happen very soon. But anyway, people, there's power in prayer, but prayer don't mean anything if you don't practice faith. And faith means moving, doing what's necessary. And uh, sometimes faith is simply waiting. When God says, wait, you may have to wait sometime, which is what we had to do at the church. Even though from the church, we could see certain, we could see the emergency crews coming and everything like that, but God said, sit right here. And when light hit, cars just started running up that same mountainside, trying to find a way out. Uh, and we just sitting there watching them like, okay, so where you gotta go? <laughs> so yeah, we were trying to explain to them, hey, there's nowhere to go, but there's they were nowhere to go, right? A flight. Yeah, they were they were determined. They, yeah, they were listening. So okay. finally, a man that worked at church uh, came out and said, I'm in a truck, you in a Cadillac. I have a way that I know you can go. If my tires can make it through, you can make it through. So I, I was able to watch from the church mountainside and see the direction that he went in. And I said, Nikita, I think it's time for us to take that chance and uh, follow this guy's uh, call. And sure enough, when we prayed about it, practiced faith, I held my wheel. I said, let's pray. Jesus, uh, take the wheel. So we, he had to. One spot. <laughs> one spot, I thought we were going to be washed back over to the flood. But we were just right, the way he took us, we were just nipping at the edge of where the water was just beginning to actually build. And we was able to be on the high side of the mountain on Tweed on that. We never knew this way existed, but now we do know. Mm -hmm. um, we followed him, and we ended up coming back up the mountain. There was a few little spots where there was deep water, and we just prayed through it and, and uh, made it through and made it back up 280 and just prayed and thank God that we that we did not uh, get stuck. We in realized the that we were ahead of a lot of different things. Um, it, it, and it, at one point, we were sitting out there in the, in the church, and I was telling mom, I said, Mom, the air is too still. It's just too still. I said, sometimes you begin a tornado somewhere, it's just too still. Where's the wind? Mm -hmm. um, and the water's still in the ground. And then it got really cold all of a sudden. And then it's the light cold. And, and, uh, and I was just telling mom, I said, well, um, let, at least let us try to make it to the light. Because we, we didn't know how bad it was. And we were lucky that we didn't realize how bad it was until we got home. And we saw landslides, rock slides. And a lot of it was places we had just passed. We had passed on our way trying to get to the hospital. Mm -hmm. Shortcuts we were trying to figure out. And, uh, and, and I was, we got home and all I could say was, Lord, thank, thank you, you, Jesus. Because we were blessed. We thank could have been you. trapped so many times. Mm -hmm. And we was trapped at a church. I was like, I'm good. You know, God brought me here. I'm good. I had to use the bathroom. It was a major kickback. But you know, um, listeners, just remember this. If you're going to pray, pray without ceasing. Have faith. Move when you get that knowing to move. And sit still when God says sit still. Because even though you're sitting still, God is making things work out for you. Trust and have faith. I am to hear Monique Brown, and I believe in miracles. Looking forward to talking to you next Thursday, right here on Tahira's Tahirisms.